This is the You Are Here Travel Planner. One of my favorite pastimes is traveling. It just energizes me. I love to go and see. It, and it's just interesting to find out how other people live in other parts of the world. So I created this travel planner to record some of my experiences, some of the ups and downs. If you've traveled, you know that those exist. And then also to plan trips before I go. So I bound my planner in a three ring binder, nothing fancy, just picked it up at the local discount store and then have put my title page first, which comes with the planner. The first pages that I have are my road trip pages. Now you can use this a couple of different ways. You can use this to plan a trip. If it's a trip that has multiple destinations, you could use one page for each segment of your trip. I have a friend who's going to Disney World and she's using one separate page for each park they visit. So you can record the different um, rides or attractions you'd like to see and kind of get an idea of what you want to accomplish while you're there. The next page is the travel guide. I love this. Okay, so I really do not like to pack. I inevitably forget something. So I created a packing list that helps me think through my trip, make sure I've got everything I need. Not that you couldn't buy something while you're there, but it's just peace of mind to know that you have what you need while you're traveling. And of course you can print as many of these and keep in your, your binder as you like. You can also, just as a side note, have this spiral bound, if that's how you prefer to do that. You can just have the printed pages with you, take those to an office supply store um, in town where I live. It costs about $3 to have it spiral bound, so it is also a good economical choice. This is one of our family's favorite traditions. This is our 101 snapshots. So every time we go on vacation, or it doesn't even have to be vacation, sometimes we'll take a weekend trip. Like this past weekend, we went to a festival and we filled out one of these 101 snapshots worksheets. My kids love it. You know, it takes a little while to get going, but once you get going, the things you remember are hilarious. And the greatest thing about recording these memories is going back later and reading through. It's just incredible the things that you forget. So I like to write all these little things down. Um, out of this trip, my kids thought it was hilarious. We went to a gourmet store and they had all kinds of little samples. I'm normally not a sampler, but they had this great honey. It looks so good. And so I pick up a spoon and sample the honey. Mm, figured out that the spoon was used. It, <laughs> it was um, mm, not good for me, but the kids loved it. So that's the snapshot. Then this begins the journal section of the planner. So you can record your travel first. My first passport stamp was in Paris. Um, anyway, you can just record all of your different firsts here. And then there are lots of lists. So things to do when you're traveling that you don't do at home. And the lists go on and on and on. You, there's room for your travel playlist, uh, your favorite staycation activities. And then these are the pages that I really like. The love-hate pages. So things you love about a subject, things you hate about a subject. Favorite couch traveler, places I've traveled through books and movies. And I'm not going to go through all the categories with you on the video, but there are so many different categories that you can journal to your heart's content. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the You Are Here Travel Journal. And hey, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your ideas and takes for the next version of the planner. Thanks for watching.